I believe it was uh, earlier today or yes, I think it was yesterday that uh, Jack Black. Yeah, it's a Jack Black. Jack Black make a concert. He go in the concert with Tenacious D. And he basically was singing and uh, yeah, uh, the did not bold well. Did not bold well for uh, Jack Black. Here it is. It comes from Kyle Beckler. Just in, Jack Black has canceled the rest of his tour. So why was he canceled? Why was he canceled? Here it is. Uh, so basically, this was. Uh, I, I do want to talk about this right over here. So uh, this is him and him and Kyle Gas. Yeah. There it is, man. Jeez. Jeez, right there. Don't miss Trump next time, man. Yo, that's so bad, dude. That's so bad. Like, why would you say that, man? Like, here's the thing. I understand if you're trying to make a funny joke, right? But this literally just happened. This literally just happened a couple days ago, right? If the, if the Trump assassination attempt, you know what, uh, uh, assassination attempt, which is what a lot of these leftists will, will consider, these liberal leftists, you know, they're, they're calling it staged, they're calling, oh no, why he miss, right? If you made this joke like 10 years later, 20 years later, no one would have said anything. But the thing is, um... Kyle Gass and Jack Black, they, 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 they're, you know, Jack Black didn't say anything, but we do know that he's, uh, he, he, he likes Biden. He votes Biden, right? He, he wore the, you know, uh, uh, what's it called again? The, you know, the, the dark Brandon shirt, right? So the thing is, a lot of these people just call it assassin. You know, don't, don't, don't say that. You don't say assassination. It sounds so serial. Don't say it. Right? So. I guess uh, Jack Black was canceled this morning. Let me, let me switch over my, uh, my audio. Uh, basically, he was canceled, right? If you let you look over here, he says, uh, I was blindsided by what I said at the show on Sunday. I would never condone hate speech or incur political violence in any form. After my reflection, I no longer feel it is appropriate to continue the Tanayati tour. And all future creative plans are on hold. I am grateful to the fans for their support and understanding. So the thing is that we do know he's full of shit. We do know he's, he's, he's full of shit. But he has to say that is because the thing is... A lot of people like Jack Black, whether whether you like his music, whether you like his movies or whatever, right? My, my favorite movie from Jack Black is uh, School of Cock. And uh, the thing is, okay, that, that's the adult version, all right? That's the adult version. And I do like him as Kung Fu Panda. I like Kung Fu Panda 1 Kung Fu Panda 2. And I love him as Bowser. He's great. He's perfect at Bowser, right? Perfect impersonation. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I, wor I worked my ass off on that one. But the thing is, he wasn't the one who said it. But he is the, the face of Tenacious D and he has more he has more celebrity pool, so he has to sort of come out and say something, right? Kyle Gass did not say anything until like later, like later today. Right? So the thing is that he basically uh, canceled anything. He basically canceled Tenacious D. Right? Which is really bad. Now, Kyle Gass did come out and say something a couple hours after. I guarantee that Jack Black was blindsided right he was blindsided he didn't think that his bandmate the guy he knew for like 20 30 years would say such horrible things and especially the fact that it just happened right kyle gas right over here okay i'm gonna uh this is kyle gas's real voice the line i improvise on stage sunday night in sweeney a highly appropriate dangerous and uh, terrible mistake I don't condone the violence in any kind, in any form, against okay, anyone. Uh, what happened was a tragedy, and I'm incredibly sorry, my severe lack of judgment. I profoundly apologize to those I let down to get my pain I call. So basically, basically, he's like, shit, I shouldn't have said this. 
Jack Black is mad at me. And I... Like, this is the only thing I got, man. Kyle Gass is like, this is the only... This is the only thing that's making me money. Ah, shit. Shit, man. And then, of course, you have uh, everyone on his Instagram. Oh, right here. Oh, I love you, Kyle. This person, uh, Michael. Every single one of you has said something out of turn sometime there in your life. Let alone be on stage celebrating birthday. In an exciting foreign land in unfun and huge crowd. Poppy, the, the drink forehand, I'm so sorry. All right? Another person. Uh, you are one of the best in airline, no matter when. Uh, you, we know you don't condone violence. Uh, you got a go hot. Love you long time. Right? Another person say, uh, we only love you, Kairu. Another person is like, oh, I love Kairu unconditionally. <laughs> so the thing is that everyone just makes this thing that you're so generous. You didn't say, yeah, people, you say dumb shit. We're, oh, we're here for you. We're here for you. I guarantee you half of these motherfuckers are bots. This is, this is a stupid thing to say. You should have said it. Whether or not this Kyle, Kyle Gas or um, what's it called? Um, Jack Black meant what they said. They apologize whether, the, whether or not they, they meant it. The fact that this will live forever on the internet. Jack Black. Like, if Jack Black, like, con condemned Kyle Gass on stage, like, hey, dude, what are you, what are you saying, man? A, a person was almost killed a couple of days ago. You shouldn't say that. Whether or not you like that guy or not, we shouldn't say that. If... Jack Black actually said that on stage, it would have been completely different. But he didn't. Right? He said over here, I was blindsided. Right? That's what Jack Black said. The thing is that if it wasn't recorded, like let's say it was back in the duh. Like back in the day of like 80s. Right? Back back in the eight back back uh back in the 80s or maybe even the 70s when uh, nobody had any like recording footage, right? You can't record anything. You don't. Nobody had a cell phone or anything like that because that never existed. The fact that they are apologizing is because it, it was broadcasted and quote unquote they were, you know, they were caught, and that's the reason why they have to apologize. It looks really, really bad for them. Really, really bad. You can lose out on a lot of sponsorships, right? And I believe that's what happened with Kyle Ass, a gas. I believe he lost uh, a lot of um, a lot of a uh, lot, lot of stuff. Well, let, let me actually look up Kyle Kyle Gas really quick. Kyle Gas. Uh, I believe. Uh, see right here, tenacious D's. Uh, these nuts. Kyle Gas dropped by talent agency after Trump comments. Man, this guy fucked around and definitely found out. It is what it is, man. It is that, that's why he had to, he fucking got dropped, dude. That's the reason why he had to come out with an apology. Hopefully, he his talent agency picks him back up, right? Whether or not you, I I think the Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny was was a fun movie, right? I think it was a fun movie, but the thing is that you don't say this, right? Can you make fun of JFK's head shooting? Maybe. You know. Abraham Lincoln's shooting, probably, you know, it's been, it's, it's, it's been quite some time now. You can maybe make fun of it. It's over a hundred years. But the thing is, this was too soon, man. Too soon. You should have known. 